England Australia quarter final. I think I've had three and a half hours sleep. I drove from Stockport to where I am a holiday in in Taunton. I'm on tour. England's on tour. It is not in the same time zone or oh, Denmark Australia. They're a good tournament team, and we're not. Parliament's called today. Will Boris Johnson's deal get through? I don't give a damn. I just want England to England to get beat Australia and go through to the semis of the World Cup. I just I've lost all perspective. Great defensive work early from England. Great attacking work from Australia. Well, they're here to play. Well, of course they're here to play. It's the quarter the final of the Rugby World Cup. But I say such stupid things. They're professional rugby players. They're going. They're going to play. They're going to try. We're in the fifth minute, and about three of those minutes have been them trying to do a, get their scrum to get to work. I'd like to see a game where basically there was just one scrum continually resetting for the whole match, and just ends up a nil-nil draw. That would be amazing. Aussies look very together. I'm not scared. Three nil Australia. We've scored a try, we've scored a try. Johnny May, who else could it be but Johnny May in the corner? Beautiful. Owen Farrell, kicking boots are on. Johnny May runs through, Henry Slade goes through the middle. Beautiful little kick. He hasn't played for ages, only about 20 minutes this year. Oh no, well, uh, since he got injured this summer. Come on, England, come on, England, don't let this go, come on. Okay, it's, it's only the first half, it's only about 20 minutes in, I think. Owen not m missing a kick, beautiful. <sighs> I've got to keep it down, it's quite early in the morning in this hotel. Tom Curry, or Sam Underhill, tackling people is one of the biggest joys in my life at the moment. It really worries me that I'm not having a full enough life. This is a very, very tough game, this England-Australia game. Reminds me of, uh, reminds me of the game I played in. Uh, London Welsh, Barker's Butts, 1981, under-11s. Tough, tough game. Australia have just scored. Kyle Sinclair scored, just scored an amazing try. Kyle Sinclair is the sort of man that every bloke would have wanted as a best mate at school. You know, kind of good-hearted, big bloke, takes no shit and beats up your enemies. 27-16, Owen's, Owen's not missed a kick. He just lives on confrontation, that boy. It's 27-16, 20 minutes to go. England are tackling in a way that I never did as a young man. This team deserves semi-final, and then it's all a bonus. England's cruising now, 40-16 against Australia. It's almost definitely going to be New Zealand in the semi-final. That's fine. We've done we've done what we expected, and I think we will just go on as underdogs. See how far we go now. Have a lovely time. Have a little holiday in Japan. No pressure. Ireland, New Zealand now. Just watch the New Zealand hacker. I don't think I could do a hacker without actually injuring myself. It's the slapping of the thighs that really stings. That that bit. I could do that. I haven't got a really good tongue. I've just been drinking coffee. Fourteen minutes gone. New Zealand already 10-0 up against Ireland. Game over, surely. Oh, God, they're going to cream us in the semis. 17-0 to New Zealand after 21 minutes. Jesus. I worry about Billy Vanapola's mullet. That guy, Jack Goodhue, the New Zealand centre, his is a disgrace. He must be from a very country area. Ireland completely, physically and psychologically destroyed within, like, the first 20 minutes by New Zealand. No one's going to give us a chance, apart from Clive Woodward. He always does. I do love it when commentators talk about rugby players having soft hands. I go, how do you know? Have you, have you held them? Staying in Taunton this morning to watch Wales play France in the other quarterfinal. Four hours sleep. It's 12-7 after 12 minutes. This, this, this is going to be first one to 100, I think. France have had the first player sent off in this World Cup, in my opinion, for actually doing something really malicious. It's the first red card where you actually go, oh, you total bastard, you deserve that. Elbow in the face, nasty. Wales, may, I think, made a real meal of winning that. I think that's Wales' dodgy game out of the way, but I don't know, I think I might have been premature in predicting Wales were going to win this World Cup. I think they will make the final. But I think they'll be taken apart by New Zealand. I watched Japan South Africa on catch up. I, I didn't like watching it because it was just, it was like watching the school bully destroy the, you know, the little junior who we thought was quite brave for taking him on. Japan are now a tier one nation, absolutely. I'm sure they'll they'll regularly beat the bigger sides. Well, they'll beat beat Ireland and Scotland anyway. England New Zealand semi final. I think is fantastic because nobody will expect 
England to win, but the fun is that we are underdogs. This is why I think it's so great to be a Scottish rugby fan. You're always the underdogs. No one ever expects you to win. I think Wales are going to sneak it to the final past South Africa. Wales have a weird way of winning. No one knows how, no one knows why, but I think they're getting to the final of the World Cup. Liam Williams, of course, and Rhys Carey, Sarri's players, play for Wales. Have you seen that Vincent Cock plays for South Africa? And also Shout Brits. So, well, Shout Brits isn't Sarri's anymore, but he's always Sarri's really in his heart. I'm rambling on. I'm talking rubbish. Wales, New Zealand final. I should go and put money on it right now.